everybody and welcome to the international headquarters in a much more smaller room. And so if you very cozy, it could almost pet you on the head. Or you. <laughs> So while we are here over in Japan, I thought what a better thing to do than compare two giant toy manufacturing juggernauts, that being Mattel and Tomy. We are going to be comparing two different play sets. The Mattel one's kind of split in two because they come in two different things, and each we're going to open extras. So there'll be like a couple more dinosaurs for Tomy, and there's going to be a lot more dinosaurs for Mattel. So let's not waste any more time and unbox some dinosaur toys, shall we? First off, we have these. Now, these aren't, I think, Japanese exclusive ones, but these are the mini figures. Now, I, I never saw them anywhere else. I think if you're in America, you get everything. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> but these are really small and in Inside them, sometimes you get one figure, sometimes I think you get two. Let's open up one of these. This was apparently 398 yen, which is about two quid. Ah, there we go. Rip the lid off it. And we have, ooh, we've got a double of. We've got a tiny little iguanodon and a tiny little baryon. Oh, they are made of a really weird material. Winnie's finally got the camera work. <laughs> That's all of the other ones, so you get to see all of them there. I, I was expecting like solid plastic, but these aren't. They're like, um, it's really soft and rubbery. Like you can completely like bend the head there and look at the feet and everything. So you got Iguanodon, which is so odd. Is Iguanodon in the movie? I haven't seen it in the movie yet. I don't know if Iguanodon's in it, but apparently, yeah! on to the next one, because we got a few. Yeah! Yeah! Wait. I just opened the first one and it's, it's, a, it's a complete copy. We've got a herd of Iguanodon and a pack of Baryonyx there. Lovely. Oh, hey ho. She's got a bleeding box. Yes. I'll take that. I missed it. So already two down and we've got a duplicate. This is the freaking Kinder Eggs all over again. Hey, ooh, it's the titular antagonist. The Giga! Ooh, again, he's got very flimsy little joints, but if you have a look at him, when you can get close up, it actually has a jaw that opens as wide as a friggin' Indominus Rex, apparently. But I don't know if it's a paint application, it's probably just a print. If you look at the eyeballs, they've actually got a pupil and yellow and everything, and they are really tiny. But it's a lot bigger than the Iguanodon. You can eat the Iguanodon. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird now, because every time I do stuff like this, I'm like, I've got neighbors. <laughs> oh, yes! A Triceratops and a Pteranodon. It's actually painted like a Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodon, which is interesting. Oh, it's an Atrociraptor and a Stegosaurus. This is where it gets a bit odd because some of these dinosaurs, we'll move these over here, <laughs> like this Stegosaur, have articulation. So if they're big enough, for some interesting reason, they just decide to give them articulation. So if you look at the Thagamize on the tail, it has like a little left and right, like a sweepy sweeps. Interesting though, it is a different pose for the Stegosaur. Does it turn? Oh no, it does turn. It's a proper ball joint. Oh yeah, well, I completely forgot about this. We've got a ghost, the Atrociraptor, who's really tiny. And it's a duplicate. Yeah, another Stegosaur, sweet. Like a herd of turtles. Oh, oh yes, another Iguanodon. <laughs> Baryonyx for the collection! Actually, you know what? It looks really cool. Like, if anything looks good, if you get duplicates, it's Hadrosaurs. It's a shame that we've got three of the same ones. Right, we got one left! What will it be? I'm hoping it's another Iguanodon! Come on, baby. Oh! No, but it is a duplicate of another one! It's a Pteranodon and a Triceratops! I wouldn't even care. I bought this all from the same place. What is quite popular over here is this brand. This is, I don't know what this, this brand is actually called. If I look at the, um, the Hiragana or ka the Katakana there, it says Anya. Oh, it's Takara Tomi. There we go. It actually says it the other way. But then it also says Anya. I think that's maybe it animates, like it's articulation. So I've seen these crop up in the past. I've always went, 
Oh, I mean, it's kind of cool, but they look like they're completely um, like cut into bits and loads of different segments. So I've never got my hands on one of these, and now I do. And what better one to do than a Spinosaurus? Dobby, Dobby, Dobby. Oh, he's in a big bag. So yeah, on the, on the box it's like, you can move its tail. You can move its head. Move everything. Ooh, ooh, actually, that's not that bad. So the feet don't have any articulation, but the tail has two ball joints. There is a, a bit for the, um, the head and the jaw there. That is interesting. Because the level of detail, especially on the eye, it looks like it's printed. It's, this is definitely not painted. Maybe the teeth are painted. Everything else about it is either printed or it's airbrushed. And it even has painted toes! Look at that! Not even Mattel can do that. And this little thing has not only painted toes, but painted nails! Brilliant. And then if you compare this, like, they're bigger, they have some articulate. I don't know why you'd really want to articulate the tail. Only one job would have done, but hey ho, now you can make it do that. <laughs> but it's a lot bigger. The level of detail on it is nicer. And to be fair, you know, I'm not a fan of the of these like weird looking ball joints, but it's not bad. It's just a shame that it sticks out so much. That's the only problem with these, is that you just have, it's not like hidden, it's not like a little crack, it's like that's a whole ball. But yeah, like the detail on, on this one is way better than the Mattel minifigures. But wait, there's more. Tinosaurs is a good name. Tiny Yeah, but Tiny Souls was in Land Before Time. Yeah, it was, it was like Land Before Time 11. Correct! Don't ask me why I know that. Anyway, we have the comic relief of Fallen Kingdom. Sinoceratops, who's looking... Oh! Oh, that's good. That's really good. Wow. Now, the Spinosaurus... It was a bit like, eh, kind of, yeah, it's the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaur, but the Sinosaurus, look at that. That, that is so good. It looks exactly like it does in the movie. And even its ball joint and articulation isn't as pronounced as the Spinosaur. The head has, look at that, look at that, that is amazing, wow. The different kind of colors as well on it. I don't mind that it's not too heavily detailed because the model itself looks great. I don't even care if legs move or not because that pose looks so good. And you're gonna have it grazed, you're gonna have it headbutt. And really, when it comes to Ceratopsians, isn't that all you want it to do? There's like an airbrushing on the, the mouth and the muzzle, as well as just the print that's went onto the, uh, the frill. I always remember it's called a frill and not a crest, because when I told Jeff Goldblum that the crest, he was like, the crest, crest. Ceratops has that big kind of helmet. Yeah, the crest. Crest, mm -hmm. crest. I had comments being like, no, he had it right. You made him get it wrong, Beavers. <laughs> I made Jeff Goldblum stupid. <laughs> Out of those two, I prefer the Sino. The Sino looks so good. But wait, we've got these things. Uh, where it gets captured by a crane thing, sinks a boat, and then eats an Atrociraptor, apparently, according to the back. But not only do we have that one, we also have Biosyn, whatever you call it, the sanctuary thing it is. The Giganotosaurus a Rampage play set. So let's get these guys open. Now, how does one do, oh, there's tape. When you gonna have the knife? Don't come over here with that look on your face. Don't play around, that's dangerous. <laughs> I want to give me the dinosaur. Okay, so first off, I want to take the harbor thing and I want to put the thingy thing with the thing. That's it. This is the, the play thingy, whatevs. I don't exactly know what I'm really supposed to do. Okay, so there's two types of play. This is play A, but still not a patch on that. There you go. And then, that's it. You've got the Mosasaur. And then you can put it into the water and take it out. Love the water, love the water. And then, apparently B, B3, I mean, really, it's a playset, right? So you can do whatever you want to do with it. Peg the Mosasaur. <laughs> Beyblade launcher thing. And, uh, I mean, according to this image, I don't know what you really is supposed to do here. Three, two, one. Ah, you got him. I mean, I can, I just can't get in. Unlike the friggin' the paper, which apparently has me holding it from a mile away, apparently it launches all the way and gets the Atrociraptors, apparently. Winnie, give it a shot. Put that in. 
<laughs> well, to be fair, you did get them in. Lovely, isn't that great? And then the boat, that's what that does. So that is the Moses or Mayhem set. Wasn't that a belter? Can kind of see what they're trying to do. As far as a playset goes, this would be really good to have it like this size and to have, you know, like a crane working and maybe a crank to sort of lift the crane up would, would work really well. The spring loaded thing for the Moses to jump out and attack the Atrociraptor on the helipad would have worked really well. Would have been so good to have that as a set. But unfortunately, they didn't decide to do that. Okay, so let's do the other one. Okay, and here it is. Two ways of playing with this one. This is my favorite way. Ready for this one? So apparently, um, it just shows the Giga coming out in, in the image. It has a Giga going like that. So look at that. Look at that. I'm not joking, look! Bottom image! It just has a thing of the Giga coming out the cave! It doesn't even have him like going through the doors. It's like, nah, he comes out the, the hole. <laughs> anyway, and then the other way is the same thing you did with the Mosasaur. You plonk him onto his, um, and then you're supposed to launch him at the facility! Oh, oh, that actually really worked, that one. And you can combine them! Together to make the ultimate playset. It's like I can't put pressure on a certain way because I'll just break things. Yeah, there we. Oh, okay. And now we have the ultimate playset. Look at that. Look at all the things you can do. You have the Giga come through, smash open the gates, eat the Mosasaur. Yum 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 yum. Then the crane grabs him and feeds him. So the Atrociraptors! Together, they're not too bad. And even in here, like little details, like you've got the dinosaur footprints on the grass and stuff, and the way the tree's supposed to act as like the background. So when I was a kid and I had a table, I would actually like get a bit of paper and draw trees and then stick it onto the wall. So it looked like there wasn't a wall and there was trees. <laughs> so it's kind of like, what's going on here with this? Pine trees. Is the cave open? No, it's closed from Monday to Friday. Maybe this is something to do with the movie. Maybe the Giga comes out of the hole and goes, ah! I'd rather have had seen, you know, this as a big playset or this as a big playset rather than a small one. I know it saves them money and it's less of a risk, I suppose, but I would argue it's more of a risk because, I mean, all the collectors, are they really gonna want this? Are you ready for the pièce de la résistance? It's whatever the hell this thing is. This is a giant battle arena set made by Tomy. Now I think Takara Tomy, if you know these figures, this Spinosaur and this freaking amazing chunky Sinoceratops or anything to go off of are kind of the kings of minifigures. We're kind of seeing what Mattel can do with those ones in there. They're kind of all right, but this, I saw this, I was like, no way. This looks awesome. <laughs> so if you have a look at the box, so you get three creatures already. You actually get Carnotaurus, Baby Bumpy, and Bumpy. That's awesome, I don't know, I mean, you. I think, did you get it in the other Mattel? I think Mattel made it, I think Mattel made Bumpy. Well, that's awesome that you get it here too. And there's loads of other features. There's like a whole battle arena. There's like a play system with it. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, is this the backdrop? Whoa, okay, yeah, I think it is. It's, it's the Camp Cretaceous. It looks like Camp Cretaceous. Oh, Mr. Unboxing. He's so tiny and it's so detailed. Oh my god, that's adorable. They put so much detail onto that. And then you got Bumpy, adult Bumpy, which has the articulation in the tail and the head. That looks so cool. You know what? All the reservations I had on these Tomy figures, nah, this is awesome. Oh, and then we got Carnotaurus here. Oh, it's not only just Carnotaurus, it's Toro because they have the, uh, the scar on the head. Oh my god, moving the legs bloody tough like. <laughs> you can launch Bumpy? If my Bumpy goes in, <laughs> Bumpy go in here? You get these things, which you're supposed to put your dinosaur in, and I think it clamps it once it's in. You get your little dinosaur, your Carnotaurus or whatever, and you get your Bumpy, and you slam their feet in here, and then you can actually, like, fight with them? 
Fuck me, attack! So you can do this with any dinosaur that you've got that's a Tomy. So we could do this with the Spinosaur, we could do it with the uh, Sinoceratops. But basically, uh, that's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to like knock it and then that sends like the boulders onto the pitch. And then what you're supposed to do is try and knock the other dinosaur off. So I think I'm gonna need Whitney's help with this. Are you ready, Whitney? You're gonna give me a hand? <laughs> oh. Okay. Three, two, one, go! I win! Yeah, Bumpy wins! Just because Bumpy is super solid, it's a bit unfair on you. Three, two, one, Bumpy, go! Go, Bumpy, go! Oh, go! No, 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 no! <laughs> it came off my magnet like right away. This is awesome, by the way. Three, two, one, go! Oh, 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 no, Bumpy! Surprise, you get to eat Bumpy. <laughs> I have to switch because I lost, okay. If you look at the plastic, it's already sort of warping it and even inside, you've got like paint coming off onto it, so... Spinosaurus versus Carnotaurus. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you passed me the Carnotaurus and now I have it. <laughs> go! <laughs> no! I thought I'd wait around the outside and then get you. You're too good at this, Whitney. Three, two, one, go! Puppy, help! Help, Puppy! Oh, you think now? Oh. I won't lose like this. I can't lose like this. You'll never win against my secret weapon. But da that. Oh, no, hold on. But that. But that. 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 Middle. You want to be the Bumpy? Just so you know, Bumpy doesn't have a good track record. Ah! Face of a champion! It's about to get crazy in here, okay? <laughs> Is Bumpy ready? Yeah, yeah Bumpy's ready. Three, two, one, go! No. <laughs> You're gonna go down this time. I think I got the secret. You ready? Three. I am in my corner. Three, two, one, go! Oh, the sideways tactic. You'll never see this coming. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. <laughs> oh, see, oh, I'm too fast. You can't keep an eye on me. Oh, no. Oh, yes, I win. That was not an goal. That was tactics. Because I, I trans took him. <laughs> and because I took him, I had to win. Can we have an action replay on that? He was already gone with me. Already gone. Get to your corner. You get to your corner. <laughs> Three, two. Oh, you see those, see those dancing skills? Three. Two, five, four, three, six. <laughs> go. Go. Oh, oh, you want to go? Oh, someone's lost. Oh, no. <laughs> well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. I love this. this is you feel better about yourself now, do you? So, there you have it. A comparison between Mattel and Tomy. Which one really do you think makes the best miniatures? I'm gonna have to go with Tomy. There's just so much more going on with this in comparison to what Mattel gives you. Yes, you've got like some action features and you've got a wide variety of, um, of different minifigures and they are a lot cheaper, let's be honest. They are a lot cheaper. The most important thing when it comes to an actual playset is how it plays. And with the Mattel, they have a cool action feature. Each one has like, this one has the crane which goes up and down. And this one has the exploding building. I don't know what else you would call it. But that's about it. That's kind of all they do. They each have a little bit of environment that sort of folds. And you're supposed to do a thing with them with a little action feature. But it's kind of meh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This is not all one playset. This is two different things that you've got to buy in order to, you know, kind of fit them together and play with them. Whereas if you look at Tomy's, you, not only do you get in one thing, you get the battlefield, you get all of this included except for the, the Sino and the Spinosaurus, but you get Bumpy, Baby Bumpy, and Carnotaurus, as well as a cool backdrop and this really awesome feature. It's just, it's got a lot of replayability. The figures themselves are very detailed and very good. And of course, if you know Camp Cretaceous, Bumpy was one of the more popular characters, we'll say, of, of the dinosaurs. And you've even got Toro. If you, it's just, it's, it's Camp Cretaceous without it even being Camp Cretaceous because it's not even on the packaging. So let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. I'm gonna, of course, heavily lean towards the Tomy because 
It's just amazing. I mean, why wouldn't you want it? But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye